Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial will discuss about the 2D sketch creation and how we can use this later for defining uh, primitives and extrusions. The first idea is that you can create a cross section from the object that you can get a slice of it and then this will be your sketch where you can define your primitives. If you start the create sketch command for the first time you can see a couple of options here and the first one is that you can create the um, section plane either for extruded or for evolved surface. We'll go in details about this in a minute. The first thing is that you can just place your section plane to the different locations, in this case to the standard planes like um, the bottom left the front but also, once you define this, you can actually start moving your section plane by holding the left mouse button down on this plane and dragging in a different direction. So let's try with the bottom and for example here we want to extract the profile here. I will just take the plane and move it up and down and as you can see here the offset is updated which shows the user how far the plane is from our reference plane. What you see on the screen in green is where the actual section happens through the object, but after this point have been extracted from the reference mesh, they are projected where the actual sketch will be. In this way, this is quite uh, useful for the people to get the sections on a different level and then start the actual sketch on the plane where the sketch will be. Another option here is that you can define your plane to be perpendicular to a cylinder for example as if we have here you can pick a face from the already created cut model. Another option which you can uh, find is that you can in some cases you can just use the interactive definition you select the define interactive mode, you click and then on the screen you define your plane. As you can see that now the plane for the sketch is defined by the user and the user can just drag the sectioning and as you can see the section points are projected where the actual sketch will be. Let's go back to the standard sectioning and when you just create your slice here, there is an option for the user instead of creating the sketch on the initial reference you can check this option and as you can see now all the points are where my physically cut the, the object. This means that when I create a, the sketch the, and I press OK for now, you see that the sketch is here. To show you the difference I will create exactly the same section in here but this time with the option off. And when I create this and press OK you see that the slice happened from the mesh in the middle but the actual sketch it's uh, located at the bottom plane. So this is how you create your sketches for extruded surfaces and then later you can see the other tutorials how you can extract the primitives there. Let's explore a bit more about the other options of the software. If you define your plane, you can outline the mesh, which is useful in some cases that it takes a view from the um, perpendicular orientation from this plane and extracts the, the mesh from the contours of all the visible triangles and you can see at the bottom now, this is my extracted uh, point. There is another op option here which is called for evolved surface. When you create a, a section plane for evolved surface, I'll just turn the outline off. The difference is that if I drag the, the plane, it actually rotates around the axis that is defined by the user. In this case, I will just hide these sketches so you don't get confused. In this case I can just move my plane around and you see with the green it extracted from the mesh but then the result is projected 
of my starting plane. You can always turn this option on and off and you can continue. There is an option here which is called through selection only and I will show you what it means. We can use selection which you know from the other tutorials like this one and now when I go and create my sketch section if you notice here it only extracts the points from the triangles that are marked and nothing else. This is quite useful in some cases. You can you have an option to turn this on and off also. So this was uh, about the uh, extraction and there is one more option which is called stacked section and I will load another file to see that uh, this is quite useful and what this can be used for. I put this object on in quick surface and it's really well aligned. The center of um, rotation is here. But what I want to do is just to extract this profile and I will probably try to do this with uh, the section for Evolved which is around the z-axis. We'll rotate and try to extract. The problem happens now that it actually there is no way for me to get this profile projected in the correct way so I can extract a nice and uh, well-defined profile. For this reason, what I will do, I will just use my mesh selection commands. Let's pick some area here and we'll brush some area of interest here because this is what I want to get as an information. I can use the Reform selection tool to get the uh, selection here. This may take some time and it needs uh, user interaction or you may use uh, other tools to select depending on the complexity of the object. Let's finish our selection for now. I'm not too careful but you can experiment and do this in a much better way. So here I can probably use my line selection to define the line on top of my profile. And now I have everything I need to get uh, my information. Actually here I need to unselect this because it went through. I can, I can use the Alt key here to unselect the areas. Let's use this mode. Pick this and use the Alt key to unselect what I don't need. So now I will go and will create my sketch. In this case I will just use the option which is called stack section. What does it mean? I will turn off the through selection only for now. It just takes the 360 degree and divide it in 20 in this case and it creates so many sections. Let's apply again this 200 and you see all the sections that are applied on the mesh they are projected to my reference mesh. In this case I want to use only the selection area here and if you see it just takes multiple slices and projects them onto the um, uh, reference plane and when I'm happy with this I can just press create. Now it's quite easy for me to just uh, use the standard tools to extract these uh, features. I just um, use our advanced techniques to extract um, the features, then I can press OK. And if I now revolve my surface, you see that it, this is what I achieved here and it can be used for the further modeling. And the last thing I want to show you is that in many cases when you start building your solids, for example here, I have ended up with the base, which is my solid, and I have my reference mesh. What I want to do is actually start to create my next body. I can just click on my plane here, and when I create to this sketch, the software automatically uses this plane as a reference for my sketch. I can just drag slowly up to get the profile which I need, and we'll press create. Now I have my profile well created. Here again I can just extract my um, features. I quickly just created my lines. I can just create a tangent arc here between these two. And we'll drop it and we'll just take this and adjust my 
uh, radius here. We'll use quick uh, intersection tools to close my profile here. And I can press OK. Now I have my profile, which I can extrude in a solid body. And I can create my next shape. And in this way, I can continue building my surface. So this was how you can create a 2D slices for uh, the purposes of creating sketches. You can learn in the other tutorials how to extract lines and arcs from the already created cross sections in a quite advanced way. I hope this is useful and thank you for watching.